Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to see how to access Azure Virtual Machine. Like once you have created your Azure Virtual Machine, how you can access that? Okay, let's see then how we can access our Azure VM. I'll minimize it and uh, uh, so log into your Azure portal. So I have already logged in here. So hope you have already created your Azure Virtual Machine or uh, you have already your Azure Virtual Machine. If you, do, if you don't have that or you have not yet created, then uh, I'll, uh, I'll just uh, paste one URL in the video description. You can go through that and you can create your Azure Virtual Machine. Okay, once you have created, uh, you can then, then only you can able to access it. So let's see how we can do that. So search here for virtual machines. Okay, so click on the search result. So you can able to see the list of VMs, whatever you have created. You can able to see that here. Click here. I mean, any of the VM, whatever you are, I mean, you want to access it. Okay, then uh, click here RDP. Okay. Okay. So basically, it is deallocated now. So it is disabled. What you have to do is go to the overview tab and um, start it first. Actually, it was stopped. It, it was stopped. So uh, we are not able to download the RDP uh, RDP setup. So it will take just few seconds. So now you can able to see. Uh, it is showing that already started the virtual machine. So earlier it was stopped. Okay, so you can able to see here. Start is disabled now. That means it's already you know, in starter condition and stop is enabled. You can see the status here. Status is running. Okay, now you can go here and click on the RDP. Okay, this is the public uh, public IP address to access the VM and uh, this is the port number that we have provided during the creation of the virtual machine. Click on the download RDP profile. Okay, now save it here. Go there. Desktop VM. So double click on that uh, downloaded file. Click on the connect. It will ask you to enter your credentials. These credentials you have provided during the creation of the Azure virtual machine, the admin credentials for the Azure virtual machine. Okay, let me enter that. Okay, so now I'll enter as you click on the yes button. Yeah, so uh, can able to see now we are able to access this VM or virtual machine. There is also one more way to access this Azure virtual machine. Let's see that. Okay, I'll just disconnect it now. Okay, so go to your local system and first do one thing. You go here to the Azure portal and the, uh, navigate to your virtual machine. In the overview tab, you can able to see here this public IP address. Okay, click on this copy button so that you can able to copy the public IP address. Okay, so I'll click here, copy to clipboard. Okay, now in your local machine, search for MSTSC. Okay, you can able to see your uh, remote desktop connection app is there. Now you put that whatever you have copied during that time. Whatever IP we have copied, I am just I'm going to paste it. So you can able to see here 94.22. Click and connect. Okay, now already user ID is there, or else you can put on more choice, use a different account also you can do. Okay, let me enter the password as well. Okay, 
and let's click enter yes so here it is yeah you can able to see now we're able to access this bm so now your bm is ready for the development activities you can start doing okay so what we have seen here is we have seen that how to access the azure virtual machine okay as i told you that uh, if you have not created the azure virtual machine yet you can um, follow the url which i'll i'm going to paste it in the video description and you can create your own azure virtual machine okay okay so this is what for today i thought to share you how to access the azure virtual machine these are the two ways how you can say uh, i mean access the azure virtual machine if you like the video kindly subscribe to our channel and share the video as much as possible and stay tuned for the new videos i will upload so many videos on azure functionality you will have the opportunity to go through that okay thanks a lot and have a nice day bye bye